Hey guys, the issue of Mazin and the Kano's in castration is gradually taking another dimension now that foreigners are now speaking out, you know, on the behalf of Kano. You understand? They are now protesting against Nigerian government. Says Nigerian government is intimidating the IPOB leader and the Biafra agitators in the southeast by arresting so many of them, even some, they don't buy them, their family members, you know, don't hear anything from them anymore. Now, this issue of Mazinam the Kano now, as it is right now, is not an internal issue again. The matter don't escalate based on, say, the Nigerian president don't go make one statement for UN Assembly, you know, talking about Palestinian uh, freedom and all that. Now they are now using that against the Nigerian government. You have their friends here agitating for freedom. You never fit talk matter. You they come, they carry them out, they pull for another matter. Now, Jewish leaders don't send President Bola Metinubu, you know, another urgent message. Okay, another urgent message. They now said a threat to Igbos is also a threat to Israel. Jewish leader warned federal government over Kano's continued detention. You see, this is coming again after Jewish priest wrote President Bola Metinubu urged him to release Mazin Namdi Kano. So, guys, as you can see, this is getting louder. You see, after the 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 UN talk by the Vice President Kasim Shetima about supporting Palestinians, you know, against the Israel. Since then, Israel leaders, the Israel Prime Minister said, uh, Nigerian government, you know, should be very careful because anybody who supports their enemy is their enemy. Okay? You understand? Nigerian government, Nigeria should be careful. Anybody who is in support of their enemy is their enemy. Now, leaders from Israel, uh, Israeli leaders, they are now investing support for Biafra agitators. They are now investing support for Biafra nation in the southeast. So Nigerian government is a kind of stock right now. You get it. You see, uh, why can't you just act now? Now that the matter be like this, are you going to wait until something happened? What I'm trying to say here is that now that foreigners are now intervening in this matter, why can't the Nigerian government act? Because they are really talking about his fundamental human rights, the way he was adopted. Now that one day they go now. You understand? And you know, Nigerian government is a signatory to that treaty, which he went against. That one don't hold them first. You understand? So they are now using all these things against the Nigerian government. Why can't they act now? Now, the, the, the Jewish, the Israel, Israeli leaders, they are beginning to speak very louder on this Muslim and the Khan's case. If you can recall that a uh, few weeks ago, Jewish priests under the aegis of unique forum of orthodox judaism also they 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 they, they wrote a letter to president bola ahmed Tinubu, urging him to release the leader of the indigenous people of biafra nine the master namdi kanuna this is as namdi kanu's family raised fresh concern over his fallen health begging president bola ahmed Tinubu to grant him permission to assess quality health care outside the detention facility of the Department of State uh, Service, DSS, after Nigerian DSS closed every access for Mazen and the Kanu to be assessed. You understand? The DSS Abuja, where he was being confined to a solitary confinement since 2021, when he was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya, the forum in an open letter to the president said, Kanu's release will help restore peace and stability to Nigeria, particularly the Southeast, where there has been increasing tension over his continued detention. The leader of the forum, Rush, okay, who led the members to the Isama Afaruku Palace of Kano's late father, said that the IPOB leader is unjustly detained and called on the president to heed the growing appeals to release him. He, he read a copy of the letter 
they, that is the leader that led them, read a copy of the letter he jointly signed with the chairman of the forum, okay, said that Kano was only seeking the good of his oppressed people and continued uh, committed no crime to warrant his continued incarceration. So they blame Nigeria uh, government Nigerians travail on Kano's continued detention, urging the God uh, that that arguing that God is angry with the country over Kano's ordeals. So the forum maintained that, contrary to misconceptions in some quarters, that Kano was not the cause of Nigeria's problems, but part of the solution. So we humbly appeal to the president, Bola Metunibu, and his cabinet to see reasons to release our son and brother, Mazenam Vikano, to go and worship the creator of heaven and earth for peace to reign in this great nation. The later read in part. So guys, at this uh, particular junction, I'm, I'm leaving it here. What's your take on this? Like, as I said, uh, there is a, a serious issue now because the, this issue of Mazen and the Kano is now attracting international interest. Yes, it's now attracting international interest. And I don't think this is, you know, a good story for the Nigerian government to tell. Now they are sending warnings and these and that and all that. They should just do the needful. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. I beg, not forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Make it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.